Hi folks, Desert Artist here. Uh, I know I've had some uh, some calls for uh, some instructional video on uh, how I make my loincloth. Um, it's my own kind of design. I have an alternate design here from a Native American, uh, my chief, that uh, gave me his loincloth before he passed away. Um, along with his, that was kind of the suit I got married in. But long story short, this is the uh, traditional Native American loincloth. Uh, it's generally just a long piece of leather, uh, or two pieces of leather that are uh, sewn together in the center. Uh, the interesting thing that I've noticed about this, because it's a classical piece, um, that it's sewn with more of a spiral stitch. I don't know if you can quite see it here, but uh, sewn with a spiral stitch, it gives it uh, some elasticity uh, it can stretch. Um, one of the things that I generally do with a lot of my uh, sewing and craft work and stuff is I use a, a flat stitch that uh, generally won't stretch. I use that like around the arms or down the sides. Um, I have not yet experienced played with the baseball stitch yet. But first thing I'm going to show you today is uh, how to make a cock bag uh, for the loincloth. That thing right there. Now this is the general shape of it, right? Which is uh, just like that, about as big as your hand. You know, they're gonna give you a, an idea of the uh, the size that you want to get. You know, I mean, pretty much cup, and you can kind of get get an idea. Um, but you want to make sure that on that point right there on that corner on the front, you want to have a, a 90 degree um, because they want you want your from this point here, which is going to be the the outside right you want it to be as snug as possible around your nuts um, specifically because when you're walking the breeze kind of blows and sometimes people get a and if you're kind of slacky on here along when my my first uh, loin cloths were uh, a little bit more curved than this thinking that it had to be curved but the nice thing about leathers it stretches um, but the important thing is when you cut out your second piece, you want it to be an identical piece of this. And you want it to be symmetrical. So what you do is you take this, and instead of being uh, smooth side up and smooth side up, you put uh, smooth side and smooth side together. Okay, so you want them to uh, basically be a mirror, a mirror image of uh, what they are. You can see I kind of got it outlined already, so it makes it easier for me to cut out. Now if I lay this down here, you lay it down on here and you trace it out with a fancy schmancy pencil here. And uh, once you get it kind of traced out, you don't need a real traced out real good, but uh, just to get a basic idea. Um, so you just kind of uh, cut this out here. And you see I, I use just a pretty much scrappy piece of leather. Um, I don't need anything real special for a cock bag. They're they're pretty they're pretty small. Scrap leather works just fine. Um, even getting it similar in shape to the one that you draw is is okay. Now there's another trick here that I do down towards the end here. Is that now that I've got the basic shape cut out right here. Now, down here on the bottom, where that little part is, you want to make sure that you cut it out fairly wide, okay? So you cut it all about, you know, about half an inch or so, and you cut it down long enough that you'd think that you would need for your butt floss. Yes, butt floss. Um, I like butt floss better than, than, uh, than just a regular ones that they have. Um, strictly because it's more comfortable. Uh, now, another trick. You want, like I said, you want to make sure that you cut this wide enough that you can split it into two pieces. Okay? That's another secret. Now, once you get this down where you split it into two pieces, then you take the other piece and you rope braid it. And I'll show you how to do a rope braid and, 
in another video. But this kind of gives you an idea. Now, now I've got those two pieces there. I do the same on this one here. Split it in two. And then I have four strands for a four strand rope braid. Which makes for, you know, nice butt floss. It, uh, not too thin, not too thick. You know, you don't want a two by four in your ass. Um, you want to uh, keep it, you know, fairly nominal. Unless you enjoy that sort of thing. Now, now that we've completed that, now's the time to punch our holes. And what I like to use for my hole punch is, uh, this is an ice pick that I shave down the sides to get it nice and pointy on the ends. Alright, and flat. So, when I go to punch my holes, I punch six holes at a time, and they're all in a straight line. Which makes it nice and quick for when you're sewing stuff together. Sometimes when you get a, a big long strip of six here that can't go around the corner, you only use three. Maintain your, your, same, your same distances apart for your stitches while going around the corner and it not being problematic. You want to make sure that you put the first, the first uh, tine into the last time where the hole was at so you can maintain your separation. Now, as you can see, I've stitched, punched holes all the way around there. Now I know that they're all the same distance apart. So, I do the, the same thing on this one because I know it's basically the same size because it's the same size it'll be stitched together appropriately. Now, I have the two cock bags cut out, ready to be sewn together. 